them tell you better be respected. Broke it from my slumber, I hunger, so bring an army. No wonder I start the party, you blunder with basic charm. Put hardy, so do not waste it. I hate it, I'll whip you like cake mix. The basic, the cooking, every plate is made for greatness. A hybrid who's finding my goals. Keeping you tight near while I'm in control. Like I'm easy, keep a blow in my mouth, but you know it's so when I'm smoking, meaning I'm knowing that I'm a wolf and she's cold. It's just been a bit of a long road, but we'll keep trekking through it all. I promise all my life that I'll be there for you, though, if you call. I'll keep you safe in any way, even with backs up on the wall. I got this mirror of magic, bringing fear and havoc till they fall. It's hard to treat you unfair. They all freeze when you stare. Don't care for me, it's for Marie. I tend to believe when I care. And now when they see reflections, it will not be me that they fear. So please tell me when you're in need, I swear you'll see I'll be there. My team don't know that I'm here, but I've been around. The ops spot to lose this round. I bring the house down, equipped with the bulls and osses. My projectile, check how I make my house. Do a ground pound, don't play me close. I'll check in mana, you better dip. Turn my crib into a ship and pull up quick. For a clover kingdom, I swear to God that I'll never quit. Like my illness, my skill is forever sick. Sick of flying on down, never making a sound. Holding evil at bay. Keeping eyes on you through a bird's eye view. Get the horns, hold on, let me light a cigarette. I'm smoking on you cowards, only pop the lid is disrespect. I'm a step ahead, so if you disregard my intellect, there won't be a dimension my katana cannot intercept. Kiss your heart and turn your life against you, that's an inner threat. And if I interject, your wife won't need to have your dinner prep. Pass those limits, look at clap, no finish. We the best black bulls, no cap, you can get it. First to tell you that you won't get by me with a perfect cell. Cause I'm married to my goals like my goals for Dell. My father taught me how to win, but I learned to fail. A piccolo in my life, any low I've had was in the piccolo key, but the key was fight back. Even when I was a teen, I would know I'm bad. The way I killed the 16 with my go high snap. Look, legend in the making can't stop my story. And if I sense you being a little hostile towards me, I'ma power up quick and deliver that fast pain. They say a man only gets yeah, good as his last game. I heard you pack a punch, but I guess none landed. Dumb you should know I'll beat you one-handed And if you mess with family, take a guess what we'll do We won't want to fight you now, we won't want to kill you now to See me walking in the public, sporting my green and black on my arm But then with the blood drip, I was considered low budget Look at me now, fighting the crowd, take you all by the dozen Judging my exterior, I'm raising my thermos Thinking I'm inferior, making your soul furlough Beat you down thorough, hoping you can manage my final spirit Can it hand, make your blood curdle This the time to panic when you see the go to hell, even battle damage, I give you the thousand yards scared. Not gonna be fair when I stop feeling my rhythm. You should be scared, your blood stain in your dental. Standing there thinking how did I get my momentum? And we'll be passing it down cause of nepotism. Super sane and nothing to play with. Enemies don't get a chance even when I show them the tip. Hey, what you bringing, what you saying? I'm the king of the sand. Someone from the southern USA would say I'm advanced. So in the toughest puzzles, there must be tuffles living in my brain. Still won't let my people out of really care what freezer claims. Can we get to stand? Like if I hate to stand. Fire and execution beams and heat to key and ways. I've seen regimes and seasons change. How could it be the same? You keep on feeding the flames. You're gonna free the same. The pieces ancestors stand the test of time. I guess it's down to diet genes and to exercise. Best alive till my son took the crown. Now I rest in the sky. But with trunks looking down, there's a bright future ahead of him. Like every parent told before, I might have met my descendants if I never had that broken jaw. There's so much lore that I could go through more than even go to could hope to when it grows new born. You thought it was over, but then the future tangled, boosted power, roasting opponents. The code's foes that I'm on, and the key is flowing in ocean. You had the nuts and stepped to one of us, but now you're facing both with these dogs. People that keep you being charged. Lethal with thinking you're the dreams of beat us. Speed of position you can clear. The chair talks. Crying to yourself because you're weak. And we're perilous. Jack and Twitch are building me a jam and I mad. Don't need a smith. Kill me quick. That's what I jam, but I play. Double vision. They can't see him because I'm fast with a hand. Put it to dry. Push him aside now. Sending him back. This dual personality. You would have thought it'd be a mismatch. Match two beefy two sandwich together. That's a big bag. One man's big time. Never skip gym class. Big bag. Copy, copy. Copy. With a big ticket yeah. bag. With the man from the planet of the eight. Yeah. Uh, you don't want the smoke and I ain't talking about a vape. Yeah. Uh, Tide pod chip. Yeah, my 
my whip so clean. I've been taking planets way before I even hit my teens. Radish, neck, and cabbage. I'm baking, I'm being savage. Uh, heart is full of malice. Unleash it by causing havoc. Uh, you know with the beat that's unfortunate. There's no salad. Uh, if I see my brother, I'm snapping that little carrot. No ass, but I'm bringing in the discord. I'm down to the metal. That's how opposition gets floored. Microsoft, I'm about to give you one note. Facing me a suicide. A saying, throw through cutthroat. Word of a lion. Check the name, but I go wait shit. Me and you are not the same. Compared to me, you ain't even this is the Gohan, so long you robots. Krillin's own thought isn't even the most hot or that nice. Like I am when it comes to tough fights. Goku taking 20 episodes, I'm taking one slice. More humble than any saying here on the track. Cause I know when to attack and when to hold it back. Coming from the future, man, it's all out of whack. Cause Goku's gotta live, so don't shoot. He's not Goku Black or Zamasu. What I've seen will haunt you. Travel to the past seems too paradoxical. What I've got to killing villains, saving my fam. Now my sword is shaving off years from your lifespan sipping for my chick she's searching for my dragon balls how i need to make a wish i can hurt the baddest god mortals underestimate me because my dad's a loser this my is too young so it's back to the future They're alone, find a sacrifice I guess this elitist, you will need it That's my last advice I'll be undefeated, and I mean it though I pack a fight, handing everybody One way tickets to the afterlife After coming at me, assuming they're quick Nah, practice, and practice, they're done with them Over this shit, getting so impatient Gotta hand out what's over so quick So I let you die for nothing Like the name of Tien and his buddy did Say so Super Saiyan, but I'm saying that he sucked in it You just need to find a little strength That you've been mustering While I keep it deep inside my veins Until it's cluttered, you're like gone How you started, killed your friends and all your brothers I was sick of living deep inside the dark But that's when I met Vegeta, he would teach me where to start They don't realize I'm telling lies to tear you all apart You call it destruction, I call it a pockmark Go 10, since I was below 10 I've been hot as Stonehenge Enemies that curve me like a road bend Throw them limits, make it grown men fidget When you see me up in GT, I'm the golden ticket Need a scope lens just to even see the height I'm hitting Deny the physics, these guys are tripping If they think that I could give in Collide the digits, call it popping the trunks Because I'm riding with them, feel the burners You get off of the sun Flip round to the tension high Know these clowns ain't friends of mine Can't they how they hard, drop a body to the floor Get a swag to a vital just to end your life Step with a rush on your neck, bust collarbone This is how you make a hero, son, fuck Boruto Key on lock, you can't fight with us You'll be sweeping other pieces of your team until you bite the dust Looking for a hero, then it's us Had to double up to maneuver when it's clutch Give them big rounds, no for the door, I go nuts Tell them sit down, it's gonna bring thunder when I punch Y'all talk too much, enemies do the most When I speak, leave them toast, when I spit, they go ghost You got the real thing, I'm in a gang full of clones They copy when I'm on, now they hoping to explode You can't copy me, if you do, you do it sloppily They're just throwing shots at me But I promise you ain't stopping me So much potential you can check my credentials. You don't know what you're in for. Greatness when I'm in for. I see him wanting the prince. Throw your best punch. Guarantee I won't even flinch. I got the drip. That'll turn your number one to a bitch. Shoot this gallic gun and load it. Yeah, I'm draining the clip. So call me Sensei. I've been healing the game better than Dan Day. Type of hero that the villains and their friends say. Truly worthy of the crown. Never dead weight. Hyperbolic rap. Paid the best way. Yeah, I got the baddest chick in the whole galaxy. Used to say that Super Saiyans were a fallacy. Now I've learned that evil deeds are just cowardly. Richest man on earth, so fuck your whole salary. Think you can hang with all the best. No way! Real blood got it running through my chest. No way! Stupid villains, I can kill without regret. Hold on, listen up. All right, all right. Hello, Fantastics. It's Mr. Clantastic. Preparing to jump into a Strixhaven quick draft here on MTG Arena. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to help my channel grow in the future. We got enough coins, and we're gonna jump right into it. Hey Ashley, thank you for tuning in. Great to see you here. All right, <clears throat> Strixhaven has been a very, very difficult format for me, so I may have to take my time. It's been just a little, little tricky. So in our rare slot, we have Prismari Command. Um, great Prismari card, two damage to any target, which is excellent. Um, you get to draw two cards, discard two cards. 
I like this with the uh, escape mechanic more so than anything. I, I hate having to discard the two cards a lot of times, but you can also create a treasure token and destroy a target artifact. The fact that this gives you so many options I think is what's really important here. I mean, cards like Snakeskin Veil is great, Practical Research is great. I haven't had any luck with Quintorius, he sounds like one of my cousins, and I, 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 I'm gonna just be real, I, I wanted the card to be good, I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just gonna be making 3-2 tokens all game, la di la di la, but no, it didn't really happen for me like that. Um, there's also Hunt for Specimens, which allows you to learn, and Pest Summonings that goes right along with it. We're gonna go with the rare, it just gives us it, so many options on one card for three that it's incredible. Okay, we got a few things here. We got Flunk, Bookworm, Pigment Storm, Mage Hunter's Onslaught. All serviceable. I really like Bookworm, ETB's game, three life draw card. I mean, it's also a card like, say we wanted to discard it to Prismari Command. We could get it back later. We'd be passing up Flunk and Major Mage Hunter's Onslaught, but I think Bookworm is just, in my opinion, it's just too good. I'll, I'll be three colors if I have to. If I could be like a blend of Prismari and Quandrix, you wouldn't really see me complain. <clears throat> okay, right here I'm just leaning towards the Frost Trickster. Trickster, a solid flyer taps down something for us. Burying books is good too. Spell Satchel hasn't been that great, man. <laughs> All right, um, hunt for specimens again. There's another pigment storm and also a Prismari Pledge Mage. There's also a field trip. Will Prismari Pledge Mage come around? Like, it's, it's just a really good early game play, especially if we're primarily in Prismari. Pigment Storm is great too, but it's it's just kind of heavy on the cost, right? Let's lean, I mean, ooh, Environmental Sciences is another excellent pick. I could be going all wrong here. I, I personally like green. I think green's awesome. Hmm. Like Professor Zoomancy's great too. I'm gonna lean towards the early game creature here. We'll see how that goes for us. Okay, okay, okay. Here's a lash of malice. Not really leaning towards black. I'm really Wanting to be kind of like a Quandrix spell deck, maybe splash a little, I mean a Prismari spell deck, maybe splash a little Quandrix in there, is what I'm feeling. We could grab a Historian here, but I'm just going to grab the Pledge Mage, double blue, and we're leaning heavily towards red-blue for our color pairing. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna just throw this um, spirit summoning in the side. We can play it for two red. Especially if we happen to pick up a learn ability. Won't really complain about that. Uh, like the, the illustrious historian is easier to play. And it makes a second creature once it dies. Maybe, is that better than the pledge mage? Hmm. I'm just wondering, is that is this historian better than the pledge mage? I'm gonna lean towards my gut. I kinda like historian. Cause it can make another creature and it's a little easier to play. Okay, I'll grab Ardent Dust Speaker here. Let's just put our spells back in our deck. 
Another Pledge Mage. I'm actually going to get the Spectacle Mage here. Solid Flyer. Allows our spells to cost a little bit less if we do get some big ones. Okay. I'm happy with these. I'm not going to turn these Pledge Mages away. We got another Spirit Summoning in case we get a Learn Ability. Uh, I'm going to grab Access Tunnel. Will we run it? I don't know. Will we run this Bookworm? I don't know. Yet. <clears throat> okay. Pack one wasn't horrible. I think we got a solid early game situation going. I think we just need a few spells, some removal spells for sure. And here we go. Here's a solid one with heated b debate. Can't be countered. So it counteracts the um, ward ability, which is excellent. <clears throat> Two or three of these make a great deck for us. We missed that first Snarl, but another one came. But here I think we just grab Divide by Zero. Great Bounce spell. Doesn't deal with tokens, but it allows you to learn. Which we kind of need right now. I wouldn't turn away this Enthusiastic Study either if that comes around. take burying books it doesn't have learn on it but it is kind of like a removal spell it deals with tokens as well which can be useful okay I'm gonna grab Kelpie guide I love environmental sciences just to kind of fix our mana but right now we're really leaning towards this <clears throat> red blue we might not even run green Pop Quiz is great too, but I'm just going to grab Kelpie Guide, another early game. Well, turn three creature that's great for us. Is that a second Kelpie Guide? Okay. I'll run it. There's an introduction to Annihilation, but I think having some solid creatures is going to be great for us. I do not like Symmetry Sage. I just don't like it. <clears throat> I'm just going to grab Pillar Drop Ward in here. It allows us to kind of replay our spells too, in a sense. And it's just a good reach creature. There's Biomathematician, but we're just going to grab a Historian here clog up the early game okay I'll run creative outbursts five damage to any target could be a way we could finish a game off we can make a treasure with it enthusiastic study came around that'll go great with our pledge mages pump them up trample I'm gonna just grab this soothsayer here even though enthusiastic study has learned I want to clog up the board early and if we decide to run for instance bookworm at least we should survive till then <laughs> that's the hope <clears throat> I'll grab another enthusiastic study I'm not a big fan of hall monitor there's a Twin Scroll Shaman as well. I'm not a fan of that either. So yeah. Not a big fan of OER Battle Seer either. What up, Samaj? Thank you for tuning in. I'm really I'm really leaning just towards pop quiz. How many creatures we got? Twelve. I mean, OGR does have Haste, another solid creature. I'm going to grab it <clears throat> over the pop quiz. We're not really a spirit build. 
Like, this Blood Age General isn't going to do anything for us. I'm just going to grab Curate. You know what? It came around. Fuck it. I'll run Symmetry Sage. It was free. I didn't have to really think on it. Whatever. Whatever. If it wants to be played that badly, we shall play it. Okay. We got a shock. Shocking. I would love to have the Prismari Apprentice. Um, even Biblioplex Assistant I really enjoy. But I'm just going to grab Shock here to go with our kind of like Magecraft build. Ooh. Ooh. Couple things. Couple things. Let's see. We got to go with the Igneous Inspiration here over Rutha. I would love to get Rutha if it comes around. I'll take... Not, that's pretty much all I want to come back around, so I'm not even going to say I want something else. Is that another inspiration? Do, do, do. Yay. Okay, let's start. I'm probably not running access tunnel. That's on the fence. I don't mind running Enthusiastic Study. It's just not my favorite because you need to have a creature out there. Especially if we have these inspirations to learn with instead. I think those are just way better. Um, I really don't like Symmetry Sage. Like, there's so many ways this card could have been better. So many freaking ways. I mean, I guess it is a flyer. <sighs> huh. We got, what, two lessons here? We could grab... Annihilation, have another way to just deal with another permanent. I think that's what I'm going to go with here. It's it's solid at this point. Snow day? Really? Don't mind if we do. Okay, that's a Wormhole Serpent, which isn't bad. Another Spirit Summoning. We're just going to go with another Pledge Mage here. So, I mean, honestly, we're looking at a pretty darn aggressive build. We could c just slide out the Pillar Drop Warden. How many creatures we got? 15... Kind of like Ardent Dust Speaker. We could probably slot out Ogiar. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But we got Tome Shredder. I'm really just leaning towards another Pledge Mage here. Just getting an army of these guys on the board, I think, is going to be great for us. And getting card advantage with these learn spells, I think, is going to be great too. The Apprentice came around and an Elemental Masterpiece. I'm going to grab the Apprentice. Okay. I'm not a big fan of Thomas Shredder, but we'll nab it up. Jesus Christ. So, our whole strat is essentially revolving around Pledge Mages. Hmm. Like, that's what I'm feeling. Got 20 gems. All right. Let, let's try to win some games. First off, I'm just going to strip the deck, and I'm just going to add back creatures that I want to play. And you know what? Symmetry Sage might get played. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? 
I mean, it's it's a one drop flyer, whatever. It'll probably get in for good damage at some point. Soothsayer is fine, a one three. You won't really hear me complain about it. I like the historians. I really think those are good. They just recur. Like all of our two drops, pretty much are getting played. That's that's a guarantee. <laughs> Our two drops are really just getting played here. And then I think our three drop flyers for sure are getting played. Spectacle Mage. And Frost Trickster. We're going to try to keep this curve as low as possible. I'm going to throw in the campus for sure. All right. Are there Kelpie Guides? I mean... It's almost like ramp, and it's a solid three drop creature. And Pledge Mage is as well. And if I had to like force one more creature in here, how many have we got so far? 16. If I really want to be like a 17 creature deck, I would want to run Ardent Dust Speaker. I just like the card. It's just cool. So I think that's all the creatures that I'm interested in. <laughs> Sounds like we can read and write smudge. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna go for our removal spells. Shock. We got a heated debate and two igneous inspirations. We missed out on a couple of the five drop removal red spells, but I'm not even mad about that. Um, can we consider creative outbursts? Five damage to any target. Look at top five cards. The hand put, on, put one in your hand. The rest in the bottom of your library in random order. That's a lot of mana to do five damage. I mean, I'm still considering it, but Prismari Command. Divide by zero. Burying books. Honestly, I don't think Soothsayer is going to be aggressive enough. That's just me needing to cut cards, but it's a decent two drop, but we got a good bit of more aggressive two drops in my opinion. I kind of want to add enthusiastic study. Do I? Do we really need ardent dust speaker? That's a question too, because we could just grab curate. How many creatures we got? Fifteen. What's our curve looking like? Two point seven. See, this could be a fifteen land deck if we go low, right? We could. I think that's where we're at. I think we're at a 15 land deck, perhaps. <laughs> Run curate. Run another enthusiastic study. What up, Patrick? How's it going? Thank you for tuning in. So far, so good. I think we got good cards. I think we just have to play them right. Um, does speaker might just be a little too late I think we really want to just hone in on the aggressive aspect we got ways to get cr creatures um, from learning yeah I'm just going to add the Soothsayer, just another early game creature. 15 with 10 spells. Huh. I 
I'm really not <laughs> I'm really not feeling the soothsayer. I kind of want to add one of our more powerful spells like tap two creatures they don't untap. Like that's almost like a removal spell. And I kind of want to run this creative outburst. I know they're just ridiculously big, but they're powerful. Powerful abilities. <clears throat> nice, nice. I love when um uh oh Y'all didn't tell me I was like fading out of existence on the screen. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. There we go. We got a lot of playing while we build it, as some say. Okay, um. Maybe we could have study. Or maybe I'm just being greedy. Maybe I'm just being greedy with those big ass spells. And I just need to slide an early creature in here. Or make your mark. Let's try to make your mark. Because now our curve is 2.5. We're running 15 lands. Not really running any, anything too big. We're aggressive. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the like. Mr. Clintastic is all you need to search for. I usually share my draft builds on on Twitter. If I can find an easy way to share them to Instagram, they'll be there as well. <clears throat> but yeah, let's see. I tell everyone uh, Strixhaven has really been whooping me. <laughs> Jeez. Music loud. Let's turn that desktop audio down just a tad. Y'all might not even be able to hear it now. Okay. If the if the game music is overpowering me, please let me know. So we got to turn one symmetry sage. Okay. All right. That's about as good as symmetry sage is gonna get for us. <laughs> They got a star pupil. Okay, I can honestly say Symmetry Sage is probably better than star pupil in this instance. Let's just get out the Historian. And see, Sage didn't even do any damage for us that turn. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Like, it got out on turn one, but it's going to go like three turns without dealing damage for us, perhaps. Uh, how are they going to do this? I'm just going to run out Kelpie Guide. No attacks. I mean, we could attack, but then they'll just do something wonky with the Star Pupil and the Poet and all that jazz. Now, if they just hold up mana, we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. <clears throat> But there's a chance we could do some pretty interesting things on this upcoming turn. Hopefully they don't dig in our hand or some shit. Okay.
I don't mind if they let the damage go through here. I know, right, Patrick? <sighs> that, that, I, and the reason I called it like that is because that happens to me so often. It's like, okay, cool. I got a pretty good hand going on, blah, 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 blah. Oh, throw all that out the window. Now they're looking at what they should do, able to strategize on our whole hand. And then Agonizing Remorse would have took taken anything. So they would have took our Kelpie guy. So I'm not even upset by how that went. I just hate that I predicted it like that. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. Do we want to... See what they do. And I mean, we could have dealt three to the face. Let me know in the comment section would you have dealt three to the face or would you have gone and gotten rendered a creature? Like, over the years, I've just kind of learned you deal with the battlefield first. Okay. Uh, the battlefield. We got. Uh, we don't have enough mana. We could just grab the elemental summoning. I think. Uh yeah. We'll just grab the summoning. And. If they're gonna kill our Kelpie God, I guess they just kill it, right? No. Yeah, Battlefield first, I think so, too. Okay. So we still, and that's exactly why we kept the Kelpie Guide open so that we could um, get a creature from that. And they, and they, they had to have known that was the play. Orator. I'm honestly cool with that. Thank you, Patrick. <clears throat> it's hard to play around the opponent when they kind of know what you have. And so we're going to tap that, untap, and run out summoning. That's a 4-4 creature for the base. And the Kelpie Guide really helped because we, we didn't have the, enough mana. So opponent's not in the best position here. But we're a little bit out of gas. We have a creature we can play. But no spells. Like if they would have never gotten rid of our enthusiastic study, it would have been a done deal, right? Would have been a done deal. And if I had to guess, they're just looking at a hand of probably really good spells. <laughs> probably like really good spells that started like four mana and they're just like, ah, shuffler, ah, yeah, shuffler. But that's why we went low drop spells. And how many points of damage did that Symmetry Sage get in? Like two, four? Maybe I need to keep up with that. The Symmetry Sage damage counter. Like how many damage can this card do? 
Well, <laughs> I guess shameless plug once again if you enjoy my content please be sure to like follow and subscribe and if you want to see more drafts you see the top of my head <laughs> you know how it goes all right so they just kind of gave up on life fine with us all right ring a ding ding that's a dub that is a dub all right, we didn't even put sleeves on our on our deck. How disrespectful, right? I can't believe we got that dub with no sleeves. All right. I don't know why my camera keeps readjusting. Huh. That ain't player. That ain't player at all. I'll try that. All right. Hand is looking decent. Why couldn't we go first, right? Like, this is the perfect hand to go first with. And they got a one star pupil. Okay, we're just going to play Pledge Mage, and I don't care if we don't draw another land for, I don't know, infinite. We're just going to play all of our Pledge Mages out. <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah. Well, that's not good. <sighs> this is two damage. Two damage. We're not going to discard it or anything. We're just going to create a treasure. Two damage here. We make a treasure. That's goodbye. Okay. Who that was a little scary. That was a little scary. That was really scary. <laughs> Whew. They're going to swing at us with six. Okay. You know what? Um, so dumb. I might have lost that game because of that. Yeah. I might have... What up, John? Yeah, I'm drafting. I forgot you got to play a spell first. But it might have been good for us. Um, We'll take 4B at 5. Can we win next turn? Like, we can swing 9, 10, 11, 12.
That stinks. <clears throat> This one, we can play like one creature, block, take four, nope. Oh, gee. Oh, dang it. They just got in voice the 4-3. That's my bad. I, I had a bad play with the Prismaris. Yeah, that was one swing I left open. For like six damage would have changed up the dynamics of that game. <laughs> Misclick. I think the deck's still good. Like That was just wrong on my part. Like, I should have curated and then swung is what I should have done. Or maybe have blocked the 4-2 earlier. There was a lot of ways. I mean, what can we do? This is our hand. Our first hand and we didn't have the right colors. We'll put shock on the table basically. Okay, this is this is a nice line, right? So if they play a decent creature here, we get to learn, find one of our plays. Right? That's perfect. I'm just gonna get a spirit summoning. Keep the beats going. This is off a of mode of five. Pilgrim Ages finds a land. Can't play both. So I'm just going to run out Spectacle Mage. If they decide to remove one of our creatures, we can keep a 3-2. Okay, academic dispute.
Awesome. I like this. Most of their cards come back from the yard. That's a that's cool. Pillow drop warden. All right. We'll just keep a land in hand. But it's it's looking bleak for us. <clears throat> So we pretty much know they have something. We can swing both of those, I think. No. No. No attacks. They're planning to keep that pillar drop warden or they wouldn't have um, put the counters on it. Oh, Jesus. That freaking stinks, right? This instant, okay. Okay, I'm really, I'm fine with that. We got divide by zero. So if they play another creature here, we should be good as long as it's a non-token creature. Clever Lumamance, okay, okay. Okay. Glad we didn't just crash. Uh, they still got a spell here. Was that the play? Really? All we really need is a spell, right? Yeah, all we really need is a spell here. We might be able to take this game. I really like how they played it, though. I like this build.
Yeah, we did it, I think. Let's... Two damage to any targets and... Create a treasure, I guess? Two damage here. Make a treasure. Sweet! I was a little worried there when they made that big butt creature. Like, my god. Seven toughness and we couldn't power through it, but using our enthusiastic study on our turn, learning. Thanks, Patrick. Learning and getting the intro to Annihilation was just done. And they didn't have a way to recover from that. I almost feel like we want that card that gives our creature um, um, unblockable. And we did that off a of mold of five. Ooh. That's off a of mold of five. Okay. Really hoping to get a third land in this game. Right? We got Igneous Inspiration and Pledge Mage up. But we got Prismaris to drop. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, we hit it. So let's... Let's just get them out there. They can't get past the Guardian, of course. But we can drop... Inspiration doesn't get past the Guardian either. Oh, that's frustrating. Dust Mage, okay. Wondering what I want to do here. I really just want to continue to get creatures on the board. Yeah. Yeah, the lower CMC is helping. Maybe, okay, Campus Guide. Not a fan of Campus Guide. I don't think it's that good at all. Really? Okay. So we can run out two plays here, which we will. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, we're like really trying to mess them up next turn. Why are they looking at their campus guide? Oh, draw a couple cards. Okay, no attacks. So, really glad I didn't run out removal, because they were just going to fizzle it. That's what we want to run removal on. Just how we drew it up. And we'll get... Guess a removal spell, because, you know, they stink. And then... Really can just all out swing. And our historian comes back, so it's just, oh my god. Yeah. Huh. 
what's my draft record of all time? Oh man, I have no idea. I do fairly well though. I've been drafting heavy since Ixalan came out. That's when I really got into drafting. But that is something I really need to keep up with. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me. That's Professor Onyx. Nice. You'll learn the power of death. Do we still win here? Alright, let's swing in. Oh, I get I get seven wins on a regular basis. That ain't really too difficult. <clears throat> on average I can get five to seven. <clears throat> let's see how they block. It doesn't matter either way. Or maybe it did. I don't know. Okay, it didn't. Oh yeah, I've been I've been seven oh before. I've made it to mythic off of um off of draft play. I think that's how I actually got my first invite to the Mythic Qualifier was through drafting. Uh, I think you just got to practice with the drafting to get better. And allow for frustrations. Because there's sometimes I'm like, well, I'm going to try this and I'm going to try that. And, you know, I'll get blown out. <clears throat> and then some days, you know, you're just not meant to win. <laughs> Some days. Thanks, thanks. I'm glad we get to go first here. Where's Symmetry Sage, right? This would have been a perfect time for Symmetry Sage to make an appearance. They have their clever Lumamancer. We are going to drop. We're going to drop Pledge Mage. We're going to see what happens here. Because they drop something I want to remove, that's fine. The tension is rising. Start. Oh, huh? Sir, no one cares about that. So we're going to run the Historian out here and then just hold up Make Your Mark once again just in case they decide to try to remove one of our things. Make Your Mark has been surprisingly good. In this, you know, aggressive deck, it triggers our Pledge Mage, replaces our creature. That's, that's freaking awesome. Like, every time we've used it, it's... Wow, our creature didn't even... Wait. Did we... Whoops. We didn't... That's a misplay. We didn't have to do that. Like, we mis... They misplayed, and then we misplayed into their misplay. Stupid. <laughs> Freaking stupid.
Yep. <clears throat> no attacks. We misplayed right into the misplay. I thought we was going to lose our guy. We could have held that up. See what they do. No attacks. Divide by zero doesn't deal with a token, unfortunate. Deals with this. And we can grab Intro to Annihilation here. We'll just swing in for four. So they're not going to want to play that Pledge Mage back out. Because they know we have the intro. I mean... Right? Ugh, I wish I could sw Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He can swing it if he wants to. That's a GG. Even with the misplay. Even with the misplay. Man, we didn't deserve that one. Did not deserve that one at all. But we got it, so taking it. Testament to the build. Thanks, thanks. That's one of those wins that you take from your opponent that you know that if you had been on the other side, you would have, like, took your computer and just... Mother, mother. <laughs> we get to go first with a hand? What is this go first with a hand? So the goal for all my drafts, as long as I can get up to enough gems to play another draft... I'm fairly happy. 
I tr if I can get on a streak, I'll typically draft like once a day. But I've been, I mean, life has been crazy recent. I've been doing a lot of things as far as my career and whatnot. So haven't been playing as much. But with the new set coming out, Adventures of the Forgotten Realm or In the Forgotten Realms, I'm really hype. So I'm like, let me get my drafting going. Let's draw some cards. You want both of these lands? I don't think so. They can kill Spectacle Mage. You ordered 50 packs because you suck at draft. I tell anybody, it's just like taking a class. You know, there's there's drafters like LSV, Luis Scott Vargas, and Reed Duke, and Ben Starks. And there's even smaller drafters like uh, Nicola Bolas. And they're really good. You watch them kind of take some of their, you know, skills or whatnot. Apply them to your own. I was wondering maybe I should have kept my land. I don't know. <clears throat> Hopefully they don't field white, but we're not in a bad position. We got what? Three technical removal spells, three burn spells in hand. I mean, it don't even matter, dude. We got three burn spells. They all do two damage. No, this does four. So, yeah. Take it, my guy. Do it. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. Take one of our removal spells or one of our burn spells. Do it. Or scoop. Like, this is the kind of hand... An agonizing remorse might scoop to now. They have to read every single dang card. They're like, oh, geez. Oh, no, this isn't fun. This isn't what I want to be doing. Kelpie Guide. Wow. Would I have played Kelpie Guide next turn? Probably not. The plan was legit to... I don't even know if I kill this. What the... What are they doing? That's in... I knew it. I was like, they saw our hand. I was like, something's not adding up here. They saw our hand and they were just like, nah. Don't you love it when they take RTFC as the gospel and read even the flavor text until the timer's <laughs> Yes. I don't I really don't know what that last opponent was doing. We're only in gold right now, so maybe... I mean, there could be several things going on. They could be a new player. Um, they could be new to drafting this format. Anything, but... Yeah. I felt that coming from a mile away when they saw our hand. I was like... What can they do? <laughs> like, literally, what 
We're, they wasted their mana looking in our hand and removing a Kelpie guide. Come on. Okay. Oh, man. This, this is turning into a hand as well. And thank you for tuning in, Carl. I appreciate the uh, the support. If they kill Symmetry Sage, I don't even don't even care. Like who would, right? Let's just get, let's get out our guys. Let's just get out our guys. No attacks. Would it be really nice if we could like find a shock right here? Oh man, if you're stuck in silver, well, I'm here to help. <laughs> you can um, catch some of my drafts on the Mr. Clintastic Facebook page as well as the Mr. Clintastic YouTube page. It's one of my favorite things to do. We gotta, we gotta kill Sedgemore, which I didn't even notice that, and it can't be countered. Mmm, scrum diddly umptious. Didn't even have to take damage from that. Sweet. Well, make sure you go follow the Mr. Clintastic page <laughs> so that you know when I go live in the future. I primarily play MTG. But I also play RPGs like um, Skyrim, and I, I'm in this. I'm in this one RPG called Outward that I really love. People might think it's boring. My Frost Trickster. No attacks. They got. They gotta know. I have I have a non non rogue mill deck in in red blue and Jeskai, and I have a teamer scoot swarm deck featuring um Terror of the Peaks and Coma. They're both really freaking cool. I don't know how to do this. Do we just kill this here? So, I don't want to draw the cards. We'll just deal the two damage there. Make a treasure. Then we can just crash in with everybody. Okay. Wow, they're taking all this. Four, five, that's five, eight, nine, ten. That's only eleven. Okay. I've been playing since about Origins um, competitively. Good play, good play. I've been playing since Origins competitively. Um, but I really. I really learned the game through Ixalan. I played MTGO and I started drafting there and I just had a just a freaking luck streak, my guy. I kept getting like Rekindling Phoenix, which at the time on, on MTGO, even as a digital card, it was like twenty five plus bucks. I just cashed in on that multiple times. Oh that's not good. Mutating scoops. Oh, man. Left him at about three. If you... 
once again, shameless plug, if you go to the Mr. Clintastic page and scroll down, it was just recently that I posted a uh, Scoot Swarm Teamer Ultimatum deck. Just gonna bring this guy back. Oh, we that's perfect. Let's just crash in. Who Chris Murray just came in and kind of like tapped that tail today, didn't it? Sack a creature. Sack one of these guys. Oh, yeah. Uh. Sweet. See... I'm more of a combo player. So when I think of Scoot Swarm, I think of how can I use these tokens that I'm generating to kill my opponent without attacking. And that's typically what I do is kill off the opponent without even attacking. Oh man, are we six and one? Jeez. Oh man, cannot be mad about that. Oh man. <laughs> Cannot be mad about six and one. And the one game that was lost was really due to a freaking misplay. This deck is rocking. Just aggressive red blue. Playable. We can drop historian. I like historian, and if I was gonna go into red white. I would try to get those historians and those pilgrims that find you white land and try to do a graveyard build. I think it I actually think it's possible. Oh jeez, I wouldn't know anything about old school magic. Huh. Are they gonna counter us? Eh, who cares? <laughs> And we'll probably run out Spectacle Mage. Let's swing in. No reason to, I mean, we got, we got plays now. And we got a creature on the board, so we're good. <laughs> okay. Well, since they get to see everything in our hand anyways, we're going to run out our spells. Is this, I was about to say, is this a situation where they see our hand and it's just like, oh, geez. All right, Kelpie Guide.
Spell Satchel? I mean, they did slow us down, I suppose. Let's see, what you're talking about, Carl? Verdant Force spits out Sapperling, I'm guessing. Fallen Angel lets you set creatures for 2-1. Ooh. Ooh-wee. I definitely have to see it in some action. What they got for us? I mean, we got a hand, a grip full of gasoline. Wow. Okay. Like they, they legit just letting us like beat their freaking face in. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes is all I can say. This deck has been absolutely bomb. N no one even No one even cares about that. They're at nine. I could frost trick. I could destroy that artifact. I could. Just put flyers up. Now if they kill our whole board, I'd be kind of upset, like that draconic intervention or something. Perfect. We'll just tap that down if you don't mind.
Exaxes! Exaxes! Wow! That was an excellent draft. My goodness. I'm not really upset at all by how that went. Can't really even complain. We had an average curve of 2.5, ran 15 lands. We never even activated Prismari Campus. We never played Barry and Books. I don't remember even seeing it. The best cards were really in this three and below range here. Like these were, I was happy with every single one of them. Pledge Mage didn't really pop off, but eh. Like I feel like in this format, when you get to about this three drop area, when you start going over here, it gets a little tougher. But yeah, that that was freaking awesome. And so we got enough gems to straight up do another event. But that may come tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Yeah, after work I should be doing another draft. So, if you enjoy my content, please be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to help my channel grow. In the future, you can follow my Mr. Clintastic page, YouTube, and even my Twitch um, for Mr. Clintastic content. But my Twitch is kind of acting up right now. So, yeah. Anyways, as always, you guys are fantastic. Really enjoyed talking to the new people, the new fantastic crew. And I'll see you guys next time.